Hello, I'm Rob in collaboration with Mile High United Way. In this series, I will show you how to use a computer, from the most basic skills to those necessary to start incorporating computer use in your daily life. These videos will also empower you to help your children with their online homework. Sometimes life demands that we transform ourselves and learn a new skill. Technology and computer use can be overwhelming or scary, but these videos are designed for those with little or no experience with computers. Welcome to Using a Computer with Ease. We won't be demonstrating all uses of a computer, only the basics so you can understand the layout of a computer and feel more comfortable using it. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to download an application on your phone, whether it's an iPhone or an Android. Apps are available in a store called the App Store or Google Play. Even though it's a store, you are not required to buy anything. The majority of apps are free in their base version, but a lot of them have extras that you can add on for a cost. For that reason, it's important to monitor your kids so they don't download any extras that you will have to pay for. If you have an Android phone, the first step is to find the Google Play Store. This is an app that your phone already has in order to download more applications. It could be inside a different folder of all Google products. The Play Store looks like this. Another way to think of Google Play is like a library for applications. You will need a Google account, but that's recommendable so that you can use all of Google's products. When you open Google Play, you will see different suggestions and categories of apps that you can download. Or, if you already know which app you are looking for, use the search function. Write the name of the app you want and tap on the option that matches or on the magnifying glass on your keyboard. Once you've found the app you're looking for, you can tap its title to see ratings and reviews for the app. Sometimes, there will be a trailer for the app to help you know it's the right one for you. Just tap on Install to start downloading the app to your phone. Depending on your phone's settings, you may have to check that you're connected to the Internet. After you've downloaded the app, from this page you can open it for the first time or uninstall it if you don't want it. The next time you go to the home screen, the app's icon will appear, ready for you to organize it how you want. A quick word of advice. There are applications that can hurt your phone. So, once you have downloaded an app, go back to Google Play and open the main menu. These three bars represent the main menu. Click on Play Protect. Activate it and then tap Scan. Google Play helps protect you from harmful applications. If you have an iPhone, the first thing you have to do is find the App Store, which looks like this. 
Another way to think of the App Store is like a library for applications. The App Store helps you find and download different apps. It's organized by apps, games, and more. If you already know the app you're looking for, use the search function. Just type the name of the app you want and look among the different options. Tap on the name of an app to find the fact sheet about the app, which includes ratings and reviews. Click the Cloud button or the Get button to download the app on your phone. Afterwards, go back to the home screen to find the app's icon there. Let's review. Inside of a store, you can download an application. For an Android phone, this store is Google Play. And for iPhones, it's called the App Store. Inside of each store, you can browse available apps or search for the one you want. On an app's specific page, you can look over ratings, reviews, or view a trailer. Click the Install button, or Get, to download an application onto your phone. Once downloaded, look for the icon on your home screen. 